What's up, you guys? Bloody Jacob here. Yes, I am. I am. I am still alive, and uh, we're here to talk about another horror movie, psychological thriller uh, called Six Souls, also known as a Shelter. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Bloody Jacob. Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon, Catherine Isabel here. And the movie came out in 2010. Uh, it was kind of released a, you know, a couple of few years after that. It's about a forensic psychiatrist who that scares all that all but one of her patients, multiple personalities, are murder victims. So she'll have to find out what's happening before her time is finished. A uh, bit of a spotty synopsis there, but it is what it is. And uh, it's been a while, guys. I talked about this in uh, one of my other videos I just put out, but. Uh, uh, yeah, I just sort of lost my, uh, I don't know if I want to say lost my knack, you know, for doing videos, but uh, I just kind of got lazy. I, I, I post my thoughts on movies I watch on my Facebook and sometimes my Instagram, too. Um, it, it's just been a kind of a blah few weeks for me. I don't know. I, I've lost some of my motivation to do videos, even though I know mine aren't really as much effort as it is for some people. Um, you know, I know I don't do a whole lot with my videos, but still, it's still devoting time. And, uh, you know, I've just been in some weird spots in my life, and work recently has been stressing me out. Um, but I do definitely want to get back to doing videos. Uh, I, whether I have zero subscribers, or, uh, a hundred, or a thousand, which I don't, or whether I have one or two views per video, or fifteen, or a hundred, um, I don't care. It's just a good outlet for me. I love letting out my passion for film and you know, just various actors and I don't know, it, it's just good to have for me and I think I need to get back to that. Uh, but yeah, uh, Six Souls uh, stars Julianne Moore as well as Jonathan Rice Myers and uh, Jeffrey DeMunn, just to name a few. Uh, I got the DVD right here actually. And uh, yeah, I've actually been pretty eager to uh, talk about this one because uh, Julianne Moore, uh, you know, I've honestly kind of got, uh, have gotten obsessed with her <laughs> recently. I know she's, uh, you know, she's been a very credible actress for, you know, decades now. Um, you know, I've seen her in a couple things here and there. Um, but I don't know, something kind of sparked with me recently, and uh, I've been dying and really trying to watch as many of her films as possible. Um, I really do think she is one of the finest actresses of our lifetime. Uh, she's definitely becoming one of my all-time favorite actresses already. Um, you know, she's 60 years old now, but you know, I swear, you know, she looks more appealing than uh, you know women half her age or more. So, um, so not only is she gorgeous, but she's incredibly emotive and engaging to watch on screen. Um, and Six Souls is when I saw that automatically because, of course, I, I love Julianne Moore, and you guys know how much I love the, you know, horror genre. Um, so yeah, that was a big reason for that. Um, Jonathan Rice Myers, I've also always been a big fan of him. I loved his uh, NBC Dracula show, uh, you know, from Paris with Love, like John Travolta, even. And just anything else he's been over the years, you know, Tudors, his role in Vikings, you know, I could go on. <laughs> Um, so to see them, you know, co-starring the movie together, I was uh, very eager to see. <clears throat> and, you know, uh, the, the subgenre of horror it's in, you know, psychological thriller alongside, like, supernatural, you know, possession isn't really, uh, you know, a subgenre I love all that much. I think it's been overdone. Um, and, you know, the story itself is very familiar. There's not a whole lot surprising or, you know, overly different about it. But I still thought it was executed fairly well know for the most part um it is somewhat predictable although i do appre i did appreciate the uh, ending of it um it's a little bit on the on the, on the uh, unconventional side anyway um so i don't know it kept my interest more than uh, some did in the subgenre um julianne moore herself is again fantastic in this movie um you know she 
puts in the same performance as she would like a big Hollywood feature. And she's good here. She stands out. She uh, really you know, kept my attention you know, for the duration of the runtime. Um, Jonathan Rice Myers. He has a pretty unique challenge here. Um, I always found him to be an incredibly talented and uh, strong actor. And, uh, you know, you kind of get, like, a split thing going on with him here, you know, the James McAvoy thing, you know, he has to play kind of multiple personalities and stuff like that. And there aren't a lot of, uh, actors that could do that as organically as Rice Myers does. Um, I think he did a, a very good job here. He has, you know, one with, like, a southern accent, one sort of the more reserved, one that seems, that comes across a little more kind of dangerous and stern and stuff like that, and, you know, a couple others. Um, you know, he shows desperation how shaken he is well. Uh, you know, at times, um, I mean, I thought, I thought he nailed it pretty well, um, although I think the writing for a couple of these personalities could have been a little bit more diverse, or a little bit more kind of, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say in depth, but he, he did a good job from his performance standpoint, and he's definitely something that can, uh, you know, make or break the movie for you. Um, this movie wasn't received very well, and I don't get why. I mean, I, I get it, there's a lot of, you know, familiar elements about it, but I don't see why it's so much worse than, you know, like, uh, half the other shit that is released in the same sh subgenre, but it is what it is. Uh, they have a decent rapport with each other on screen. Um, I, again, I just love seeing them act, act together. Um, Jeffrey DeMond, as I said, is also on this movie. Loved him in The Walking Dead. Um, he's a, he's an excellent actor as well. He plays uh, Julian Moore's character's father in this. I like their dynamic, even though they don't share a shit ton of screen time necessarily. I still liked it. You know, just the two actors I really enjoy again. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you know, it is predictable with the where the story goes, but it it ends on a you know at least a bit more of an interesting note than you might expect. I'm not going to spoil it though if you haven't seen it. I do recommend you see it. Um, because I do think it's a bit of a little psychological horror supernatural gem um, that I'm, I'm glad to have. I'm sure I'll buy the Blu-ray at some point when I get the chance. Um, definitely a good little uh, notch on my Julianne Moore love buckle. <laughs> Your belt, excuse me. Um, it's just good to see her in a, any kind of you know, horror movie like this. I mean, I, I loved her as Clarice in Hannibal. She is my Clarice. Julianne Moore is my favorite Clarice. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so it's good to see her in another, you know, genre movie like this. Um, if I had to rate it, I'd give it like a, I don't know, we were from like an 8.5 to like an 8.9 out of 10. I thought it was pretty good. So uh, yeah, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.